Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to share my 1990 Civic DX with you. If you've been a subscriber for a while now, you may have seen my video I did on this car last year about the same time. I'd like to make a progression video so every year I can kind of film the mods that I've added to the car and kind of see the direction that it has gone in. This hatch has been my track car for the last three years. I used it all of 2015. I did a couple of events in 2016. I was only able to make two. And I just completed all of the events in 2017. If you're interested in seeing any of those events, click in the upper right corner. I'm going to leave the link to all the race videos that I have posted for all of the super lap events that we have had there over the past couple of years. Arroyo Seco Raceway is located just outside of Demi, New Mexico in a small town called Aquila Flats. I live in El Paso, Texas and for us, where I live, it's about a one hour, one hour and 15 minute drive to get to the track. It's a 1.4 mile road course, no elevation changes, no banked turns, but it's great for beginners and definitely what I am, still a beginner driver. I've only been doing it for the last three years, since 2015. Definitely so much fun and the most fun I've ever had in any of my EF Civics. But enough about the history of that, let me give you a rundown of what I've changed on the car from November of last year till December of this year. First off are the obvious changes of the appearance. This car is a 1990, so it originally had the flat side moldings and the different front and rear bumpers. I was giving all the moldings and the bumpers from a really good friend of mine, his name is Chris Winters. He is Matt Winters' younger brother, the guy who drives the LCRX. So I utilized those and put them on the car. I just wanted to kind of change the appearance up of it. The lip is that eBay lip, made to fit 88, 88 and 89 Civic hatchbacks and also the, all the wagons. I have this decal on there because it had a hole punched in it. Chris also gave the lip to me, but he hit something on the road and it punched a hole straight through the lip. And last year I had the 9091 bumper, but I had it cut. So if you look back at that video, you can see how I had trimmed the entire rear bumper, kind of like an airflow thing, but I wanted to go back to more of an OEM looking bumper. I bought a rear, a PCI diffuser off of a subscriber of mine. His name is Matt Krennic, really cool guy. He gave it to me at a really good price. I'd like to get that installed on the car for the 2018 season. Also relocate my exhaust and maybe a get all those pieces put on just to kind of help with uh, aerodynamics a little. Last year I was on the Koenig dial ins with the BF Goodrich Rivals. This year, still the same width. This is a Buddy Club Kuroki. It's a 15 by 7. The offset is plus 40. I'm using the Nitto NT01s with a 205.50 size tire. Now let me give you a rundown of my front suspension. It's very similar compared to last year. Still got the Koenig yellows. I did swap the front springs. I was originally on a 450 pound spring rate. I jumped up to 550. The rear is still 500 pounds. It seemed a little too soft at the 450 pounds. So I wanted to try it with a heavier spring rate and I, I li like the way it feels a lot better. Still have the Skunk 2 camber kit, stainless uh, braided lines. I did upgrade the front brakes. You guys may have seen the video uh, maybe four or five months ago. The Centric Rotors and the Hawk HP Plus pads. Really, really nice pads. I love the way these feel. I've always had the ARP extended wheel studs, new uh, wheel bearing, all new ball joints. And this is an EX knuckle, if you're curious about the brake size. The stock uh, DX slash SI knuckles, they are a 9.5 inch rotor. This one has the caliper, which is really similar to the 9093 Integra DA and it's also a 10.3 inch rotor so you have a larger rotor and you only find this particular knuckle on the 9091 Civic Sedan EX's so they're difficult to find but it's a great upgrade and it doesn't throw any of your suspension geometry off now I didn't really make any changes to the rear it's all the same with the exception of the pads and rotors got the password JDM spherical upper camber arm and the lower control arm Coney Yellows, these are the these are actually ground controls, the iBox springs, but this is the 500 pound spring rate. ARP wheel studs, new hub bearings, centric uh, rotors, Hawk HP plus pads. I also have the hard race rear trailing arm bushings, this is uh, the hardened rubber. 
And in the rear, we have the energy, the um, energy, I'm sorry, this is the ST, the Suspension Techniques, 22 millimeter rear sway bar. And for the rear, there really isn't much changes back here. Still have that EM USA lower arm bar. I had to reposition the muffler because when I did the bumper swap, I had to bring it back underneath the bumper. And I fixed the piping that had dented. Had that new gas tank installed maybe a year and a half ago as well. There hasn't been any change to the interior. Still got that old Momo wheel. Quick release hub. I'm using the stock shifter. The ASR dog bone and buddy clip shift knob. Still have the oil pressure gauge. Everything else is essentially left alone. Still got that passenger SI seat in my Corbo bucket. And that DC rear upper strut bar. GSR blade that you see back there. I leave for uh, my spare tire just when I'm using the car uh, daily and around town. The engine bay is where I've made a couple of upgrades throughout the year. Last year I had an OBX bar on. I got, put this Password JDM, the solid bar. A little bit better uh, in terms of stopping the flexibility of the shock towers. We added the Skunk 2 intake manifold. I did an install video on that if you're curious. Along with the Skunk 2 Alpha Series throttle body. I went to a 3 inch intake instead of the 2.5 inch coal there that we had put on there. Just recently you may have seen my video where I made the headlight duct. I've only used that for the one event, but that's probably one of my favorite mods on the car. It's really cool, really a nice looking mod. I have that Skunk 2 Alpha Radiator, still the same. Mishimoto hoses. Did an install video with that 1320 Toyota style header, test pipe, and also the innovative competition traction bar. I'll link that in the corner if you're interested in watching that video as well. I still have these are the Hasport steel mounts. They have a, I believe a 70, 70A durometer for the urethane. And the car is still OBD0. I'm using all of the 9091 Integra electronics, such as a distributor, some OBD0 injectors off of, I believe these, these are off of a CRX SI, I can't remember. And I have the PR4 ECU. I'm still using the same engine. It's that high compression B20B that I purchased from JDM Alliance. It has a 9293 LS cable transmission with the competition clutch, the stage 1.5, and an OEM flywheel. I really like that setup. That clutch grips very well. Have had any issues with it. The only issues now that I'm having is the transmission starting to grind in third gear and second gear slightly, so it's going to be time for a different transmission. Now the head, I don't know if you guys had watched the video where I had a dropped valve on that first motor. I ended up getting a second motor sent to me free of charge. And I took the head off and had issues with that one. The head gasket failed, so I had the head resurfaced, put a SuperTech head gasket along with their valve stem seals, and I haven't had an issue with those yet. I really like those two products. And especially the fact that I've driven this car very, very hard every time that I drive it. Now, I don't really drive it Every, anywhere else in town. Might take it out every now and then to do a video or with one of my install videos, but other than that, it's only driven at the track and to and from the track. But very, very nice uh, head gasket and the valve stem seals with no issues so far. In case you're new to the channel and you're not uh, familiar with this wing, this is that eBay wing that I'd made a video on. Very nice wing, my favorite one they make for the EF hatchbacks, and it fits perfectly and has a nice look to it. Now the paint on my car, it was a rattle can job I did back in 2015. And I know this car is by no means that clean. It's, it's decently straight for what it is, but it's perfect for what I love to use it for. Just go beat up on it at the track, have some fun with it. I'm not super worried about paint, scratches, chips, rocks, whatever. I can just really have fun with the car. And it is my most functionally sound car I think I own out of all of my EFs. And I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I make on it also. I really enjoy creating them and putting this car together and trying to make it a better version of itself than it was every time I touch it. Pretty much wraps it up, guys. Hope you like the video. Hope you like the updated parts and also the way it looks now. I'd like to make a few changes for the 2018 season and I need to get those finished before March. So for the next four months, hopefully we have some new video for you guys and some new content for you to check out on this car. 
We'll see you guys next year with the same video. Take care.